Good morning, everybody, and this is your Dow Jones day trade setup for today. So we have some pretty serious diversions here. If you take a swing low from there to this level here, you can see that's lower than what this is. Uh, look at the oscillators. Uh, it's a high and a low, so complete diversions here. We are sort of looking to find support in this zone, and the same zone as what I gave you yesterday. Uh, we'll get to those levels on the lower time frames. This is a potential reversal that is brewing here. You can see we had a strong move up, bit of an inside bar, now we've got an engulfing bar forming. We do have the uh, the Jackson Hole conference that kicks off today. So I suspect we're going to get a uh, little bit of noise coming out of that conference every now and then, which is just going to create the same volatility that we've seen this week. So you can see it's been tails the upside, tails the downside, testing the um, 155 EMA, looking to form a flag on the three hour and then on the eight hour it's looking uh yeah it's look, looking like a bit of a, a break with this big engulfing and another engulfing forming so we've got conflicting stories again and that's to be expected when you are waiting for politicians uh, that's typically what happens if you look at the hour we have a potential rounding bottom forming so I'm still very, very cautious of what's going on. I want to see the politicians, you know, just see the back of the politicians, to be honest. I want to let them finish their little song and dance so we can carry on with, uh, with uh, looking at the markets and trading them. So uh, for me, longs are only going to come into play above 33.165. And uh, not so sure that I'd be interested in shorts just yet. And the reason for that is just looking at the eighth hour that is the crossover brewing on the oscillators. Uh, we are above the 155, so the bigger trend is still to the upside. So, um, you know, I'd be I'd be looking for another attempt, at least to close a gap here, or another attempt at this weekly high here. Uh, the only concern that we do have is that we've actually formed a a new low in the weekly. You can see there was a bit of a rejection bar and now we're sort of down in this zone again so this is a fairly strong zone of support i say fairly but it's an extremely strong zone of support if you look at what happened the uh, whole of last year pretty much most of uh, this year it's been used as support or resistance and now we're back in the zone again so weekly oscillators do concern me a little bit just uh, a little bit at the moment they not all grouped up above the 80, so it's not that concerning, but they are uh, fairly close to the top. So, yep, it could be a rejection, uh, but I have a feeling we are going to see some support found somewhere along the line, and uh, it could very well be in this zone that we're in at the moment. So, for me, getting down to the 15 minutes, you know, what kind of strategy do we have for today? You can see yesterday, yesterday's strategy of sitting quietly and ignoring this was the right decision. You can see all over the place, big up, big down, all over the place. We have now got a, we've had a, got a crossover the of the moving averages yesterday. We have the 155 in play at the moment, so we're above it, we're holding above it. So, you know, a pullback and retest of this zone, and that's at 3300. If we can get some decent price action off here during the uh, trading session, then I would be looking for a potential long to 33,165. Um, shorts for me are really not going to come into play in this area. We're going to have to start dropping below some of these swing lows and retest them before. Let me just put a level in there so you can see what I'm talking about. So something like that. I'd want to see a, a drop below 32,900 retest, and then I'd only be looking for 32,784. So that's kind of the only two little scalps that I can see on the lower time frames. On the hour, I'm sitting quietly, well, sitting very tightly on my hands and not getting involved. There is something brewing here, that's for sure. And my bias is to the upside. So um, I'll wait for that confirmation before jumping in. Hope that helps and uh, we'll catch up with you tomorrow morning. Cheers for now.